What you are currently hearing is my voice being cloned in real time and then changed in real time, and you can use this on any number of applications. You can use this in real time, or you can use it in a record-only mode. It's completely free, and there's really no limits, as you can tell. This is extremely easy to accomplish, and you won't need to pay anything. Go ahead and head over to voice.ai. This is going to be link number one in the description below this video for ease of access. And it just so happens it's right next to that subscribe button, so I don't know, we'll see if it works out. Once you're at voice.ai, you're going to go ahead and click on download now. This is going to give you the voice.ai file. Now, it's weird because you can't actually sign up for anything here. It's just just a free download. Once that's done downloaded, you can open it up and you'll be greeted with this right here. There's a few settings that we need to actually initialize, so it's not plug and play, but it's plug and play with a couple extra steps you need to know about. First off, you're going to want to go to the cogwheel on the top right and just sign up for a free account. It's real quick, just enter your email and you're on it. You're going to get 5,000 of these gold coin credits to start out with, and throughout the day or throughout uh, this app being open, you're just going to automatically gain more. Now, we're going to go ahead and go to the very center here and click on Switch Voice. This is going to open an array of different voices that you can use in a record or live mode uh, environment, really. You'll notice if we click on one, we can get an example, and there's also a cost. So a Schwarzenegger voice is 4,600 credits, uh, and Obama voice 4600 credits so you'll get one of these voices completely free when you first sign up because you're gonna get 5,000 little coins uh, just for signing up and these coins on the top right that you can see these just accrue over time so you don't ever have to pay anything but you can only get one of these models per day also, we have a denoiser, which you can just use for free. We also have impressions. We have impression of pop star, which you heard in the beginning, and impression of politician. We can also go in and play samples, like let's check out uh, Patrick Stewart. On the bottom right, we can play sample. This is a standardized audio sample to demonstrate voice stability and tone without any voice acting. For optimal results, try doing your best impression. So there we go, there we have it. Now what we can do is say we want to use this one, we'll click on use. And then there's two options up here, there's record mode and live mode. If you want to use this in live mode, stick around because there's an extra step we have to take. On the left here, we can choose our input. This is what we want it to listen to. And then we can click on record. We click on record, it'll translate, and then we actually get down here our generated file. So you can see these two right here would be the intro of this video. Now let's go over to live mode. You'll notice there's something new called voice.ai audio cable. This is what allows us to stream it live. There are some specific examples down here, but you can use this on absolutely anything where you can select an input device. Let's go ahead real quick and I'm going to drag my OBS over so you should be able to see this here and you'll see that the mic aux input we're going to go ahead and click on the three dots right here and click on properties. You can do this in anything say you're running Call of Duty or Rainbow Six or an online game or say you're in a discord server just go to the audio input settings for your microphone and you're going to change it to the voice.ai audio cable. Once you've changed it to this microphone array, this is what's going to happen. This is basically the end point, whether you're in a game, a Discord server, or on OBS like I am right now. This is listening to a device. In this case, we want to make it listen to this AI cable and the AI cable to listen to your original input. This is going to take, for instance, this HyperX Quadcast. It's going to run it through this filter, input it to the voice AI audio cable, and then our final endpoint is going to be listening to that audio cable. If you're wanting to do recording, say you're wanting to go trolling in video games or something like that, you can turn the hear yourself function on, which will actually play back your outputted audio into your headphones. So you'll be speaking, it'll be uh, cloning and then translating or changing, and then you'll actually hear the output along with 
uh, whatever sorry souls are hearing that as well no matter what you're doing so this is a cool little tool that I found it didn't cost anything and it's very simple to set up so just wanted to make it a quick little video for you check out the two videos on your screen now however if you really want to dive in depth to some seriously cool use cases for some of these new AI tools